referendum date pushed back. The Governor General has been advised of the direction that the Cabinet of Grenada wants to take and that a new date should be set before the end of the month of November. Details to this and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. The date for Grenada's first referendum since independence has been pushed back. Attorney General Kajitan Hood made the announcement during a news conference on Tuesday in the presence of Dr. Francis Alexis, head of the Constitution Reform Advisory Committee. Mr. Hood says the postponement is to allow for more public consultations and that a new date will be announced. In this regard, the Governor General has been advised of the direction that the Cabinet of Grenada wants to take and that a new date should be set before the end of the month of November for the holding of the referendum. Because of this, the Governor General's office and the Electoral Office will issue and take charge of the ongoing process for the proclamation of the new writs and to give effect to that decision. The government of Grenada believes that this decision is in the broader national interest and is cons consistent with the consultative posture of the government of Grenada and the Constitutional Review Advisory Commission. Seven bills have been proposed for referendum, which was originally scheduled for next to Thursday, October 27th. The Grenada National Organization of Women, GINO, has added its voice to the growing debate regarding gender equality under the Rights and Freedoms Bill. Chapter 1B of the bill deals with gender equality and the rights of both men and women to equal opportunities. Mrs. Anande Trotman-Joseph, PRO of GINO, says only males and females are perceived by the bill and it does not invoke gay rights, a point made recently by Attorney General Kajitan Hood. I want us to remember that this constitution reform process is taking place in Grenada. We are hearing stories about this is an agenda of the United Nations organizations. We're hearing, I'm reading it live on my Facebook and other um, social media um, means that the Commonwealth team that is here, they have come with another antichrist kind of agenda. And, you know, as I said, sometimes it blindsides you, but not for very long. During a press conference on Tuesday, Mrs. Trotman Joseph said they are listening and responding to competing voices and they cannot brush the views of some denominations aside. Loris Pascal, project coordinator of Chino, says they are operating on the premise of equality and she sought to clear up the meaning of gender, which remains a sticking point for many. Gender refers to the attitudes, feelings and behaviors that a given culture associate with a person biological sex and here we want to define sex sex as male female and intersex meaning that a person can be born with both female and male sex organs this is the national report more news after the break you know that the proposed amended constitution mandates political parties to strive to promote and pursue gender equality when nominating candidates for elections and influencing appointment of persons such as members of the Senate? Vote on referendum day to promote gender equality. Yes, we need reform, constitutional reform. Yes, we need reform, constitutional reform. Improving food safety through traceability, that is the focus of a two-day workshop which began Tuesday at the National Stadium. The objective is to build capacity of private sector stakeholders in the development of traceability systems. In 2015, Grenada embarked on a food safety legislation system. Prior to this, in 2010, a national food safety policy was developed. 
Three main components will be covered during the workshop as explained by Chief Environmental Officer Andre Wilm. This workshop, as I have been informed, is primarily geared towards building capacity of practitioners and frontline employees responsible for hands-on management of traceability systems. ECA's local representative Derek Charles says to build a strong food safety system, both the public and private sectors in Cariforum countries need training. Training related to good agricultural practices, uh, HACCP, which is hazard analysis and critical control points for processors, risk analysis, laboratory competencies, diagnostics, and traceability. The National Disaster Management Agency, NADMA, has reactivated its natural disaster relief account after consultation with government officials. This has become necessary after receiving CDEMA's situational report of Hurricane Matthew's impact on Haiti and Cuba. The government of Grenada has initiated a monetary donation drive to give Grenadians and interested persons at home and abroad an opportunity to help Cubans and Haitians during this difficult period. NADMA, which is spearheading the effort, is encouraging the public to make donations to the Natural Disaster Relief Fund at the Grenada Cooperative Bank. The initiative began Tuesday and ends on November 30th. The account number is 121-004-900. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall.